my god. Okay, hello. Um, this video is supposed to go up in four hours, and I just realized I completely forgot to film an intro for it. So, uh, hey, hi, hello, you get me today. This is really not the look, is it? This is kind of, like, freaky. I don't know. I don't like it when my hair is, like, pulled from my face very much. I don't know. It'll have to do, it'll have to do. This this will be fine. Today, falling in line with a video of mine from a couple of weeks ago, I have another proxy package to open up. Proxies are dangerous. I am now learning this uh, the hard way, apparently. Uh, but I did get some really cool stuff and I'm super excited to show you guys. Hello, welcome back. We have another package to open today. I am kind of starting to understand why is so dangerous um, because after I got my first order a couple of months ago where I got that really really awesome aqua oiron figure for a super sick price I started uh, perusing it a lot more and wouldn't you know when you look at something more frequently you're gonna find stuff you want to buy uh, so that is how this haul came along uh, I have been searching for this figure on and off like she was in the background a little bit uh she wasn't like the main focus um because usually i'll turn my attentions to like a specific figure that i'm really hunting for that i'm super duper looking for so i was just kind of like passively looking for this figure for a while and she was pretty hard to find i'm not gonna lie i never ever saw her show up on ami ami pre-owned even though i know she probably does um and any of the previous listings that i saw on for her were like absolutely asininely priced uh, so I don't know if this figure is just crazy on the aftermarket or if I, she's just hard to find or what but I got the best of both worlds today because I got this figure for a pretty decent price at least I think it's a pretty decent price but enough yammering let's just get into it and crack open this beautiful box I've got a confession to make, and I don't know if I've ever said this publicly on this channel, but I keep all of my shipping boxes and all of like the shipping packing and everything like that. So like when they send me bubble wrap or when they send me these things, I keep all the boxes and I keep all the packing materials because I've been saying I'm going to move for like four years and it just hasn't happened yet. But I still keep stockpiling these like a weird little squirrel so that I can eventually use them. I'm starting to think maybe it's a moot point, but I don't know. Something in me just can't stop now. So I have, well, I guess I should, I think I have, I have three prize figures in here, I think. A scale and some rubber straps, I believe is what's supposed to be in here. Uh, so let's just crack into it. I simply cannot wait any longer. First thing out of the box here, Sailor Uranus, of course. Um, so I actually had all of the Sailor Senshi pre-ordered from Big Bad Toy Store. And as I was perusing, as I sometimes do now, uh, I saw that her and Neptune are actually quite cheap on the aftermarket. Uh, so I canceled my pre-orders and just ordered them off of because they were cheap. Now Uranus here does not come with a box uh, which, I mean, like, I'm not really too fussed about having boxes for my prize figures because, I mean, like, they're not as delicate as scales in the first place, uh, and also, I'm running out of space. So, you know, for the 300 yen that I saved, I was like, you know, send me the one without the box. So, this is Uranus. Crack her open. Ah, she's so cool! Oh, yeah, she's so cool. Oh, she's awesome. A little weird looking base here, which I think goes on this foot, maybe. Potentially. No, I think I lied. This is Uranus. Oh my goodness. See, I am not as much of a Uranus girly as a lot of other Sailor Moon fans are, but even I can admit I really like these glitter and glamorous figures. I really do. If you're gonna get a Uranus and you want a cheap one, this is a really good option. Thank you. 
I've gotta be honest that on first impression, she is not as technically flawless as the other glitter and glamours I've received. Uh, she does have a few paint splotches or like paint errors. Uh, nothing too serious, nothing too like deal breakery. Um, but I was used to the more clean paint jobs that the other ones had, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, not that this one is bad, it's just less strong than the others. And then of course, you know, we needed her girlfriend. So this is Sailor Neptune. I could not find a Neptune option without box, which is why she came with a box, which is probably why my shipping was so asininely expensive, but it's fine. It's fine. They were cheap. Together combined, they cost less than just one of them off of Big Bad Toy Store. And so I'm pretty happy with it, to be honest. The only reason I didn't buy the rest of the set off of Bayi is because I couldn't find any listings for them. So I'm guessing the aftermarket is pretty competitive for these somehow. I don't know. Just, I, I couldn't find the other ones that I needed. And there she is in the plastic. Oh, she's so pretty. I love her hair sculpt. She does have a little bit of plastic, whereas Uranus did not. Just kind of protecting her fuku from her skirt. Her, her bow from her fuku skirt. I can't speak English, apparently. And here she is. Oh my goodness. I am definitely more of a Neptune girly than I am a Uranus girly. I know that is generally an unpopular opinion, but oh! She's beautiful. I love the hair sculpt on this one. And honestly, like I keep saying it, I can't say it enough. In my opinion, this is the best and cheapest way to get all of the Senshi in your collection. These glitter and glamorous figures are so nice in my opinion. The scale is awesome. The paint is pretty good considering that they are prizes. And I mean, honestly, like they're just good. They're all around good. I love them. The girlfriends! Oh, they're so cute together. I love it. So yeah, anyways, that's Neptune and Uranus. So that's another two down out of the... what? I've got Mars, Venus, Saturn, and Pluto. So I've got four left, but we're getting there. Set almost complete. Speaking of completing sets, this little green envelope right here, I hope is what I think it is, because this segue is gonna make sense. Speaking of completing sets, some of you may remember in my previous haul, I picked up a bunch of Kira Kira Precurala Mode candy toy figures, and I mentioned that there was one cure that I just could not find. Any guesses as to what's in this envelope? So yes, I am thinking and hoping and praying that this is my Cure Custard figure. Ah, there we go. Oh my goodness. Custard is actually one of my favorites out of the season. So I don't know why it took me so long to pick her up. It's kind of taking me a long time to pick up this set in general. I think I got my first one like two-ish years ago and then just randomly decided I was gonna complete the set one day. Uh, so I am pretty happy that this is the last piece because now I can be done with it and not be hunting for these stupid freaking candy toy things. It appears as though, if you can see, there's a hole in the base here where a support rod should be to hold up her tail. Um, and I know this because I have a couple of these other ones that do have that. Uh, so looks like they just did not include that. I'm gonna check to see if that was in the listing because I might have just missed it, but I mean, I, I don't know. Let's try it. Maybe she's okay on her own. Actually, she looks like she's gonna be okay, so crisis averted, but yay. Ah, I'm so excited. I can't wait to put her next to the others. I'll put like a screenshot or some b-roll of like what it looks like with them all together. Um, yeah, I just, I really like the cures from this season. It's one of the only pre-cure seasons that I've actually finished. Um, that and the first one, and I, I think I got about halfway through Princess Precure. Go Princess Precure. See, I'm not really like that huge of a Precure fan. 
Um, but I do think that they are really cute. And I mean, honestly, like, it was a really cheap set. They were like maybe five bucks each and they look really awesome on a shelf. So worth it. So now herein comes the problem with is that if you're already gonna be buying something, you might as well buy just like a trinket or two to throw in there. Just, you know, cause like you're already paying for shipping. You might as well, right? And that's how I ended up with these rubber straps, which I absolutely do not need. Like, what the hell am I gonna do with these? I have no idea. I try not to collect merch like this because I know it just kind of like, at least with figures, it's like, it, it, there's a central point of having it to your collection, right? But like, merch like this, I don't really find it as inspiring to collect, I guess. And so I really don't know what I'm gonna do with these. Ooh, can you tell what the scale figure is yet? I'm so excited. We have Gwen and Cruel from Amori no Seraph. I could simply die. I love Cruel so much. It's actually unhealthy how much I love Cruel Tepes. And Gurin, I mean, come on, like, come on, it's Gurin. I love them both. They're my favorite characters from A Warrior No Seraph, and I just kinda, you know, hit the buy button. Um, they do not have a lot of merch, to be fair. A Warrior No Seraph does not have a lot of merch in general. Um, there have been some lines of acrylic stands that came out recently. Um, I've got, I don't know if you can see, you probably can't see. Um, up here somewhere, I have um, some Sanrio collab acrylic stands that I bought a couple months ago. Um, but I guess I'm just an Awari no Serif merch collector now. So I got these. So here's Cruel. So cute. I am so, so excited about these. I think they're adorable. And here's Gurren. I'm so excited. Um, I do actually vastly prefer him with his hair down, uh, and there is a rubber strap of him with his hair down, uh, but this one, it was a two-pack. I was like, I can get both of these for like 700 yen versus, you know, paying 700 yen for just him, right? So, you know, I'll live. But I'm excited! They're really cute! I think they're awesome. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them still, but I... I have them now, so... And then, of course, the piece de resistance in this box is, of course, the scale figure here. Um, again, like I said, I've been, like, searching for this figure on and off, like, kind of passively for a while. Um, couldn't seem to find her for any good deals or anything like that, and so I actually ended up paying around retail for her. Um, I can't tell if she is just more expensive on the aftermarket or if... She's just like difficult to find maybe. Um, but I did end up paying 15 and a half for her. Uh, and I believe her retail was around that much. So honestly, I can't really be too mad. She was also a bit of an impulse purchase. So like at this point, you know, like I didn't get ripped off, but I didn't get a screaming deal either. That's kind of where we're at. Uh, but I am super duper excited to unbox her uh, because she does actually go with another figure that I picked up recently. Kadokawa's Darkness Oiran 1-7 scale. Darkness is one of my favorite Konosuba girls. She might be beat out by Wiz, uh, but Wiz does not have a lot of scale figures. And obviously these Oiran versions are just so beautiful. Uh, I knew I had to have her eventually, and again, like I said, she was a little bit hard to find, but she's here now. I am so excited. Let's just get into it. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. She's beautiful. Oh, oh, she's just stunning. She's gorgeous. Okay, let me just put her, actually, that kind of works. She sort of stands by herself. Okay. She did require a bit of leg bending to actually get her onto the base. Um, I think maybe her feet are just like a little bit too close together, maybe. Um, but I mean, she fit in there, so it should be fine, right? And the parasol. 
just fits in like that, I think. Oh, yeah, she's very pretty. She's so gorgeous. You guys know I loved my Aqua Oiran when I first unboxed her, and I did not think that it would be possible for this figure to outdo her, but she absolutely does. This darkness is so gorgeous. She is so beautiful. While I do feel that she is a little bit less like on the nose darkness, Aqua was very quintessential Aqua and I feel like darkness is like a little bit less obvious but still just as beautiful. She is absolutely gorgeous. I love the color scheme on this figure. The shading is done super nicely. I love the pattern on her kimono. Absolutely gorgeous. Her hairpins are painted so crisply. It's amazing. The little details are super right with this figure and her face is gorgeous. Honestly, probably my favorite face out of any of my figures. She is so beautiful. Obviously, she does not come without her share of flaws. Uh, she is a pre-owned figure, so she does have a little bit of a scratch on her bangs here. Um, as well, something that I thought was a little bit weird is that you can kind of see like a gap almost in between her stocking and her leg. Looks a little bit strange. Um, honestly, not a super huge deal, but something to know if you're thinking about picking up this figure. Similarly, one thing that I did notice with the pattern on her kimono is that some of the striping doesn't necessarily line up just right, uh, so it does end up looking a little bit funky. So I do wish that they had put a little bit more effort into making sure that they were straight and perfect. However, overall in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't detract too much from the figure and she is still super, super gorgeous. I would highly recommend picking her up. However, upon doing research after this video, I am absolutely gobsmacked that I was able to pick her up for 15 and a half because honestly, like her retail is 19 and she goes for like, honestly, I, I, I have most often seen her for 30. So I don't know how I got such a good deal on her. I'm gonna chalk it up to the fact that I was just meant to have her for my collection. That's what I'll say. Um, but honestly, if you can find her for a good deal or even for retail, she is super worth it. She is so gorgeous. Hey, hi, it's me again. Um, thanks for watching. What is it that I say? What's the thing? What's the thing that I do? I have a thing. If you couldn't tell, the last month or so of my personal life has been chaotic. That would be the word for it. Uh, so, you know, I, 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 if you couldn't, I can tell. I can tell. I can tell by looking in my eyes in the viewfinder here. I can tell. So, sorry about that. One thing that absolutely needs to be noted though is that there's almost a thousand of you now, which is kind of crazy to think about. So if you're new here, this is my official like, thanks for subscribing, love to see you here. And if you're old, you guys know. You guys know I appreciate you. Anyways, that needed to be said. Almost at 1,000. That's really cool. Really cool and great. Thank you so much. Ah, that's, that's the haul. That's the haul, you guys have seen it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Honestly, was not lying about the fact that this darkness might be my new favorite figure because to be honest with you, I, she's, she's something else. She is so pretty. But of course, as always, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll catch you on the flip side.